Let me let me put it to you this way. Do you foresee a situation right now where Jimmy Garoppolo isn't the starter week one? Um, the scenario that I see, let, let's just let's just say health is not a part of this conference. Let's say everybody's healthy. I can see one thing happening. I think if a starting quarterback around the league gets hurt mm. in practice, okay, let's say I'm, I'm, when I say health, our guys are healthy, but let's say a starting quarterback goes down on a team with playoff aspirations. I'll give and, you a perfect example. Let's talk about the Minnesota Vikings from a few years ago when they traded. Yes. For, who was it? Sam Bradford. Bradford. The yep. the year they drafted Carson Wentz. They, the got a, they gave up a – was it a first – for Bradford, I don't know if they ended up giving up first. I think it was a conditional pick. I it, it, I don't think it was the first. You it was, can check it was on a that. quality pick, dude. But no, you're you're absolutely right. I and and I just want to keep the ball rolling with what you were saying just yeah. a second ago. If any team gets an injury to their starter or they feel yep. they're in a position where they don't believe in their guy, like let's say the Denver Broncos are all in on Drew Locke and Teddy third and a fourth, Locke, right? Third and a fourth. Wow, those are good picks, bro. And the, listen, if you're the 49ers, you would take that deal, I think. Hell I mean, yeah. Absolutely. I Move that cool. money off the books and get a third and a fourth for a guy who's not in your long-term plans? Hell yeah. Absolutely. I, I think that would be an absolute no-brainer. 